Welcome back everyone, I'm Jabril. And I'm Mama, then this, this is English, English Rocks. Rocks. Now we know you missed us and yeah has been studying the topic justice. And our class has been reading John Boyd's interesting novel The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, a tragic tale of a doomed friendship between the between the protagonists, Bruno and Schmuel. You know, the thing is, Bruno is German and Auschwitz concentration camp commandant's son and Schmuel is a prisoner slaving away in Auschwitz. Now, no spoiler alerts, but we can only imagine how the tragedy unfolds. Let's return to paragraph writing and our pill structure. It is a formula in writing strong paragraphs. Imagine we have a question. What is an important theme in John Boyne's The Boy with the Striped Pajamas, and how does the composer show it? This question has two parts to it. What is the important issue in the poem, and how, using poetic techniques? Does Boyne express this? Let's have a quick refresh. P is for point. E is for explain. Second D is for evidence, A is for analysis, and L is for link. So let's begin writing our paragraph. When writing a paragraph, it is very important to make a strong point in your opening sentence, which is called a topic sentence. Be argumentative and make sure you answer the question. The power of friendship is a relative human experience that definitely appeals to readers in the boy with the striped pajamas. The word that shows we are already argumentative is definitely. This theme, power of friendship, is definitely appealing to the re readers. So we have made a strong point, so now we have to explain and expand it. Give further information about the power of friendship. Now, despite the challenges and circumstance, the protagonists, the commander's son Bruno, and young Jewish prisoner Shmuel develop a strong friendship of acceptance and trust over the course of the novel. With this sentence, we have expanded on our point. We have added there are challenges and circumstances surrounding them, and yet Bruno and Shmuel are still able to accept and trust each other. So now we have to back this point and ex an explanation up. What we have said so far has to be supported with evidence. It is very important to choose a quote with language techniques. The major turning point in Bruno and Schmuel's friendship is Bruno's fail failure to admit his friendship with Schmuel to Lieutenant Kotler and feels extremely guilty about his friend's subsequent beating. I'm very sorry, Schmuel. I've never let a friend down like that before. Schmuel, I'm ashamed of myself. So I have chosen an event in the novel that really draws Bruno and Schmuel close together. Bruno is so guilty and has so much regret after he did. Or what? He did not do. That's right. He did not stand up for his friend. We have a great quote, so let's analyse it. The use of emotive language, sorry and ashamed, and the high modality word never clearly shows how Bruno regret to let his friend down and suggest he will never do it again. You can just sense the regret and shame in his voice as he pleads with Shmuel for forgiveness. Why did Boyne use emotive words? To capture Bruno's emotional response of regret and remorse. Notice we use the word clearly to show our argument. So we have made our point. We explained it, we used evidence and analysed it. So now we link it all back up to the question. Therefore, it is only after his harsh learning experience that Bruno realizes the true meaning of friendship and Schmuel becomes his best friend for life. It is important that you just do not rewrite the topic sentence by this stage of the paragraph. What well, have you learned about the power of friendship in the, in the novel? Bruno learns from his mistake and values his friendship with Schmuel so much more that he regards him as his best friend for life. Well, it's very touching, isn't it? He values Bruno as his best friend for life. And this is what that paragraph looks like. Fantastic! Don't forget, practice writing your own paragraph using this model. Another theme could be growing up or extreme prejudice. Thanks everyone for watching. It has been great. See you next time on English, English Rocks! Rocks.